another video and today's video um, is actually targeted towards the previous owner um, I just want to give him a huge special shout out for totaling this beautiful bad boy and giving me an opportunity to buy it at a fraction of a cost because I couldn't have afforded it otherwise so in today's video has been a long awaited video I've honestly wanted to film this before we even got the shop before we even started the business but I've been honestly so 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 busy um, to the point to where I'm no longer busy. I have no cars right now to dismantle or do anything to do business related. So I figured we might as well get back into the heart and core of this YouTube channel, which is cars. And actually the main reason I started my YouTube channel, which is this beautiful Audi R8 2010 gated manual V8. Controversial, but I love it. Now the crazy thing about this Audi R8 is that I actually got this thing for a crazy good deal. When I won it on Copot, I honestly absolutely lost it. I flipped out, I called my brother, I called everyone I knew because I honestly couldn't believe that I got an Audi R8 for pretty much Honda Civic money. I'm shaking, I'm, I'm actually shaking. I told myself I'm not gonna get an R8 because I'm getting a business, but there's this R8 playing, it was a gated manual V8 in black. It's the exact color I would want it to be, and it's a gated manual. I know it's a V8, but I told myself, like, Nora, you can't afford to go with a V10 and now spending all your money on a business, 60, 70 grand, it's too much money. I mean, to spend on a car, you wanna start a business, but I, I decided to bid on it, and we got an Audi R8 gated manual for 25,000, what? 25,000 for a gated manual R8? Like, are you kidding me? 25, I, I can't even speak, I can't even. And the crazy thing about that is that not only did I get an Audi R8, but I got it literally the exact spec I wanted since I was a kid. Let me explain. So the first things first, as you guys can see with this Audi R8, it is finished in this beautiful, I believe, sapphire black paint, I think. I mean, don't quote me on it. If you guys actually know the exact paint code of this Audi R8, please let me know down below, but I'm pretty sure it's sapphire. Um, just from looking at it, it's got this pearlescent uh, finish as well. It looks really cool. Now this Audi R8 is a gated manual V8, like I said earlier. Earlier. Now, I know a lot of people love the V10 models of these cars. I mean, this is considered an exotic versus the V10, where they can, which they can actually consider that a supercar. Um, but long story short, I've always wanted the V8, mainly because most of the parts are sourced from Audi. It is more of an affordable way to actually drive these cars. The V10 pretty much has most of its parts from a Lamborghini, so it gets very expensive to either maintain it or get parts. Um, so yeah, me personally, knowing that the Audi R8 was kind of like an exotic car that I want to daily drive eventually um, and just enjoy it and just rip it around and not be too scared about maintenance costs, that's what I believe an Audi R8 should be. Um, it's kind of like the most, like the reliable supercar, uh, rather than like if you wanted a Huracan, kind of like the same platform, same drivetrain, everything like that, but the Huracan, talking about the V10s at least, the Huracan has that, you know, supercar look to it, the supercar tag, this was my dream growing up. So again, we have the V8 back here, and as you guys can actually see, this was actually not in the photos of the auction. I don't even think they had a close-up photo. Um, for the regular Audi R8s, these are all in black, but as you guys can see, this is in carbon fiber. Um, this is a factory option, and it's actually, so it's a factory upgraded option. They don't normally come in carbon fiber, but I'm super happy that it did, because this can get pretty expensive pretty fast. Also coming around to the side of the car, it has the carbon fiber blade, so not only does it have the carbon NGB package, but it also has a carbon exterior package as well, which makes me super happy. I know these also come in black, um, where they pretty much pay match to the car. Super happy that's not the case because the carbon two-tone just looks amazing. And also coming around to the interior, um, we got the carbon fiber throughout the entire car. It's a carbon fiber interior package. I honestly didn't see these in the photos as well, mainly because the auction photos are honestly very bad and uh, you couldn't really tell what was going on. All I could see was the beautiful gated manual and that kind of blinded me and I wanted it regardless. Now when I say thank you to the previous owner, I primarily mean uh, the first owner that ever bought this car, respect the car, and the last owner that totaled it for me. So uh, yes, the first owner mainly because they spec'd it out the exact way I would want an Audi R8 spec'd out, the V8 manual with the black paint, the carbon interior, exterior, um, and engine bay package. So literally this has everything I want. I mean, they kind of, a little cheap on the sound system because it's actually terrible. Like I'm not gonna lie, my i3 has a better sound system than this, but 
and we're not gonna talk about that. But the most recent owner of this car, which is the previous owner of this car, did a few upgrades to this thing that you guys just heard earlier in this video and I didn't actually get to tell you guys. So let me go ahead and just show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. So the first thing you guys can notice over here is that it has a couple wires dangling over here and it has one wire dangling back there and this thing's pretty much pre-wired for a dash cam. So trying to find the exact dash cam so I could, so I could pretty much just install it and have a super clean um, you know, front dash cam, rear dash cam and honestly the rear dash cam is super sick. We can get some driving clips. Uh, but yeah, future video to come here. Again, just kind of been too focused on the business. Haven't really been focused on honestly modifying this thing any more than I've already have in the last couple of videos, which is the steering wheel and the Apple CarPlay. It's the only two mods that I did personally. But if you guys actually look over here, um, it actually has a police radar, which is kind of cool, already pre-wired. And it also has a police jammer pre-wired. Now that sounds pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's the first, it's the first one I've ever had in my life and uh, it just sounds like Need for Speed all over again. Now I'm not gonna lie, I actually have this uh, thing turned off mainly because uh, I don't know what's up with this, either very sensitive or it just drives me crazy. It literally beeps all the time, so I actually have it off. And actually this car had jammers all the way around it and I did not wanna get this car impounded. It is completely illegal here in California to have jammers, I believe, and I just did not wanna have that issue whatsoever. So we pretty much just cut off all the uh, jammers and we just left the radar on there. But super cool to at least have a radar on this car that's pre-wired and very clean. Speaking of clean, um, this button right over here I thought was part of the, uh, you know, the radar system. You see there's a, you know, green light and a red light, clearly aftermarket. Um, so originally when I got it, it was red. It was red and uh, let me show you guys what red means. So yeah, that's what red means. Let me show you guys what green means. Hear this, just hear the valves open real quick. <laughs> My hand was shaking. <laughs> Guys, this thing has a Valtronic exhaust installed by the previous owner. Again, I don't know who was driving this thing, but he was truly enjoying this car to its absolute potential. And I'm just so happy that was even there. I don't even know if it's car certified or not, but basically I had a smog it, it passed smog. I didn't have any issues and there's no check engine light. So I'm assuming the cats are still there and it sounds insane, guys. So yeah, as you guys heard, this thing has a Valtronic exhaust. I don't really know what brand it is because I never got to remove the rear bumper. This thing was not, didn't have an accident from the rear. It was in the front, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, kind of crazy, but it has some kind of exhaust. Eventually, we're gonna have to find out what it is. Maybe we wanna do some rear upgrades. Um, and actually, an upgrade that I wanna do um, is actually just completely change this rear bumper. I really wanna get a GT bumper. I think it looks super good. They have two tips instead of four tips. And I just think the two tips look a whole lot cleaner than the, the four tips. And uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna put any GT badge or anything like that. But I really like the GT bumper and then also this would be like grayed out over here. So it's gonna have like a little bit of an accent. That's probably the only mod I really wanna do to this car. Maybe even GT, GT tail lights. Probably again, the only mod I wanna do to this car because I love the front end of this car. But if you guys look at the rear end, it does look a little bit dated. I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little bit dated. And uh, yeah, I just think the GT is gonna make it look so much better. Now in terms again about the previous owner, let me show you guys what else he actually got done to this car. Now I did mention this when I was actually rebuilding the car that I noticed that there's actually a two piece rotor on this car. So we actually upgraded the rotors um, and oh wow, I actually just noticed this. It has a caliper right back here and a caliper up over here. So that looks pretty sick. It's that dual calipers. Wow, you know, I just noticed that. That could be factory. I'm pretty sure that's factory. But yeah, the two piece rotor was an upgrade by the previous owner. So where we really had this car, like I said, earlier guys was definitely a car enthusiast and just by looking at this sticker right over here put by the previous owner I believe it just pretty much confirms my hypothesis now speaking of maintenance on this car it was pretty well kept I'm not gonna lie and again that's probably one of the things that I absolutely love about this car is how well kept it's been um, I found this in the glove box I actually ripped off the bottom section because it had all the previous owners information on here um, but basically last year uh, actually has a warranty for a year this guy actually got so basically trying to explain to you guys what he did. Um, all four of these wheels were literally two months before the accident. All four of them got resurfaced and repainted. I think they just kind of like just touched them all up. But basically it's a curb rash repair company. They fixed all four wheels. So literally all four of these wheels have no curb rash, fresh like looking paint on there. And they just look absolutely amazing. So literally all four wheels look great. And like you guys saw also from the accident, for those of you guys um, who actually saw the rebuilding process of this car, um, the accident had nothing to do with the suspension of this car, had nothing to do with the drivability of this 
car. It was running and driving with literally no issues other than a headlight code when we first got the car, which was pretty insane. And another thing the previous owner honestly did as well had to do with this beautiful gated manual transmission, um, which is a brand new clutch, a brand new clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and post up when he actually got that clutch replaced. But this car currently has 71,000 miles and uh, the clutch was replaced at the dealer at 65,000 miles. Like I cannot believe somebody actually replaced the clutch at the dealer. I actually called them to see how much that is exactly. That was roughly a $6,000 job, which again, I'm super happy that I don't have to deal with that. So yeah, those are the upgrades done by the previous owner and the specs done by the uh, original owner of this Audi area. And like I said, guys, Super blessed to actually have this thing. Um, again, at full transparency, because that's what I like to do on this YouTube channel. This car all, actually, I don't want to say that until we actually get into the breakdown, the breakdown of how much this car cost me. Is that in today's video? That's a, that's a, that's a sensitive topic. Yeah, no, I just confirmed with uh, myself and I, and uh, basically I have a separate video on this car that's gonna be talking about pretty much the price breakdown of this thing and whether or not I recommend whether you should rebuild an Audi R8 or not. So that's gonna be in a future video, mainly because it is kind of crazy to say how much we got this car for, how much we're in it, and how it's actually sitting here for the price that it was at. It's kind of crazy. So this wheel, again, is from Ozzo Auto Wheel. If you guys want any custom steering wheels, make sure to check them out. I've been buying steering wheels from them for as long as I can remember. I've been working with them for as long as I can remember, mainly because, again, every time you guys get inside of the car, the first thing you touch, the only thing you touch, primarily when driving, is the steering wheel, and it is an absolute game changer. Again, I absolutely love the steering wheel, uh, but I want to make one that's like literally fits my personality to a T, um, and of course, we're going to go through Ozzo for that. We're definitely going to spec one out um, eventually, uh, but yeah, it's probably the only other upgrade I'm going to do, other than like the GT parts. I really like the OEMness of an Audi R8. I, I don't really feel like I want to put any aftermarket stuff on here. Um, maybe a wrap, we'll see, but I really love the black as well. Again, it's my dream color. And I think the GT upgrades are just gonna be more of an OEM plus upgrade and it's just gonna look really clean, you know, fit and finish wise. Now, for those of you guys who also have a dream of owning an Audi R8, make sure to smash the like button because hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about pretty much the cost breakdown, like I said earlier, and uh, whether or not I actually recommend building an Audi R8 from Copart or just buying one from the dealership because they're actually pretty darn affordable nowadays. So yeah, make sure to smash the like button so I can make that video for you guys ASAP. I'm gonna try to upload more frequently, like I said, guys. Um, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be more of these style videos for a little bit until we get some more cars in here, until we get to start you know, upgrading some more things, whether or not it's on the R8, whether or not it's on the E91 M3, and whether or not it's gonna be on a new car that we end up picking up here in the near future. Again, for those of you guys who've been following the channel, you guys also know that I have an F10 in the back that I do wanna upgrade and fix up. Uh, hopefully, once we actually get a donor car for that, we'll be doing that. And then we also have my boy's M3, E92 M3, highest mileage E92 M3 I've ever seen. Uh, I'm gonna try to fix that up, obviously, on this channel as well, upgrade it, modify it, and just make it look absolutely beautiful. So again, some cars coming up, and then also uh, for me and my wife, we do have another car in mind that we've never done before on this channel that we wanna bring to this channel. Um, and again, hopefully in the near future. But again, a lot of stuff that's coming up here. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I know a lot of things have been going on, and for those of you guys who've sticked around this long, I really appreciate you guys. Eventually, I want you guys to come down here. I wanna host a car meet probably on a weekend. I'm gonna talk to all my neighbors and try to have this entire section right over here ready for a car meet. We can actually put some of our cars in here, get them all cleaned up for you guys, um, have our merch and stuff like that that I'm just gonna be giving away to you guys. So yeah, super excited for when that day comes. I'm just trying to, you know, orchestrate it, organize it, figure out how we're gonna do it uh, with a good friend of mine once he's back from vacation. Cause yeah, my boy. <laughs> Anyways, so without further ado guys, make sure to smash the like button. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.